You're listening to Ignite Your Success, a podcast that inspires fitness professionals to build a strong business that enables them to serve more people and engineer the lifestyle they desire. It's Brad Shepard here, and together with Jason Yabanowicz, we're best known for running Trainer HQ, a community of passionate and profit-hungry fitness business owners that make a massive difference in others' lives every day. Each episode will unpack for you exactly what's working and deliver best practice strategies so you can confidently grow your business and make a huge impact. Hello and welcome to another edition of Ignite Your Success podcast. And today I'm joined with my business partner, Mr. Jason Urbanowicz. Ooh, mysterious he is. Welcome, sir. What do you mean, welcome and join? We, we fucking do these together all the time. It's not like I'm a special guest. <laughs> Mate, you're special I'm in special. many ways. Yeah, <laughs> very special. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so mate, today we are discussing the concept of why businesses potentially hit a sticking point. Yeah. So, mate, I'm going to get you to lead on this one, and uh, let's start the discussion. Why businesses hit sticking points? Well, I just think there's a lot of business owners out there who are really stupid. And, um, <laughs> I and agree thin, with that. And thick. <laughs> <laughs> and that was me uh, when I started out. No, <laughs> jokes aside. Uh, with anything in life, I, I, the the condition of a business, the condition of someone's body, their their uh, state of wealth, in, in my opinion, and what I've experienced is a direct reflection of what's going on between their ears. Mm. So that's the first thing. So say you got in a business, uh, with all the best intentions, you, know, you, you hit the ground running, uh, you've had little business knowledge, experience, development, training, uh, all these different attributes – like I guess we did right when we started we yep. just you know, went look let's sell our own business let's rip into let's it let's rip into it yep let's uh, get going and with pure enthusiasm and energy I guess you can get a business to a certain level uh, but then there's going to come a point where you hit a ceiling a sticking point uh, and if you've been in business you know you you know exactly what we're talking about the real question is is when that occurs wh- what do you do do you keep persisting uh, and running with the same uh, experience, knowledge, skill set, structure that you had when you started or, or yeah. has it developed and grown? And I, I think when you're a solo business operator, uh, for the most part, it's just you, right? Mm. So you're, you're whatever business you're in, in this case, the fitness industry, where it's saying like you're the trainer yep. or the coach or whatever you identify as. Uh, you're the account. You're doing the accounts, the the administration side of it. Yep. Uh, you're trying to do the lead generation, the marketing, the selling. So there's there's a quite a number of areas that many you hats, have, many hats you have to wear, all caps. And uh, the problem with that is is that you are responsible for all those areas. Mm. But who are you actually um, consulting with? Who are you checking in with? What do you know to focus on? All these things play a part. So again, a lot of the think. I mean, we've been doing this since 2008, right? So we've had the luxury of uh, an experience of working with thousands of businesses over that time. Yeah. And there's always a common theme that we see. And for for us, I mean, I call it the triangle principle. When I'm assessing a business, say they're doing 50 grand a year, but they want to get to 100 grand a year, I'm going to look at okay, well, you know, how long? Firstly, have you been stuck at that 50? thousand if we mm. use that example mm. um and the answer would be from one year to three years to six years whatever it may be yeah uh, and then the next part i'm looking at is i start to define and assess what is their skill set uh that is required to get a business from 50 grand to say 100 grand mm. which seems to be a magic number for most people in business they want to get to that 100 grand um uh, and if it doesn't match up, so you go, well, my sales ability to understand what I'm selling, what, what we do here is very limited, well, that will need to be addressed. Uh, my ability to understand how I stand out in the marketplace, how I deliver my message, uh, do I actually know who I'm talking to? If that's not on point, then that'll need to be addressed. So again, you could get a business to a certain level with very little skill set in certain mm. areas, but then it's going to hit a point in time where it's going to stop. That's right. You're going to be limited to, <coughs> to whatever amount of you know, knowledge, amount of training, whatever that might be, systems that are in the business at the time. And so I, I resonate with that because when you, when you talk about when we first kicked off, I go back to that, 
you know, what we're talking 27 odd years ago. And I think there's a concept where you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. And so, so back then, I know for me personally, it was like just got started, you know, like enthusiastic, all the rest of it, but didn't really understand that there was, you know, the opportunity to get help. And, and like in the fitness industry for us, business coaching for fitness professionals and personal trainers didn't really exist then. Right. But sure, there were other people out there who were coaching and training on sales and other areas. That stuff was out there. But at the time, I just didn't know what was available. I didn't know what type of resources w- that I could potentially mm. leverage off. Mm. And so once again, w- we see that occurring even in this day and age that people that come through the industry and get started, y- you might be new to the fitness industry inside your first you know, 12 to 24 months and y- you've weathered the storms of COVID and all the rest of it, but still traveling through on, I guess, just this, this thing of enthusiasm and so forth, as opposed mm. to trying to follow a, a structured process or a structured format. Yeah. And we call it the hope plan. So just hoping that every year, you know, maybe improves all by itself and that just doesn't happen so the next part is i guess looking at the structure of a business right mm. so we'll look at the structure and go right so at the moment you you've got a structure whatever that may be if it's by design or just by you know by again just what you've been doing mm. does that same structure cater for the business to grow and scale to that next level and uh, i want to be clear when i use the word scale that i'm not talking about you know, do you want to become the next Warren Buffett, Richard Branson? I'm talking about the ability for your business to make more profit. Yeah. Uh, do it without having to kill yourself because you understand what it takes to get that business to the next level. And for for the for so many people, it's like I don't understand my average dollar sale. I don't understand how many leads I get coming in. Mm. I, I don't know. Um, I don't track any of my stats. I don't have separate business accounts set up. So it's very hard to make any educated decisions about where you spend your time and energy each week each month to take it on the grand other than oh i really would like to be earning 100 grand yeah yeah and and it's that thing of going uh, you know that the figure two thousand bucks a week whatever it might be whatever your figure is it's just that that part's irrelevant what's more important is going what are some of these steps i can take along the way because if i was to have a, a one a three or five maybe a 10 percent improvement in this different mm. in these different areas of the business we look at your current level of lead generation at the moment, how many leads come in per month, and if we were to increase that by 10%. If we were to have a look at your average dollar sale and go, if we were to increase that by 10%, if we were to have a look at your conversion rate on how many people you can convert into clients, we, we increase that by 10%. You don't just increase your business by 10%. What happens is the multiplier kicks in, and what you'll find is that you're going to get a quite a significant jump in terms of the, the way that the business changes mm-hmm. just as a result of, of making these small steps. And, you know, like for many, don't know what you don't know, therefore I'm not really sure which steps I need to take on that journey. And so this is why this part's really important. I was speaking to, we get to speak to lots of people here at Trainer HQ every single year and I often see people, I guess, falling into the trap of, of utilising, first of all, utilising social media as a platform to build your business, which we highly recommend and we think it's a, they're great platforms. However, then the trap is relying upon social media to grow mm-hmm. your business. So what we mean by that, and, and if I get down on a granular level, it's like, well, What needs to happen is if you're going to build a following on any of the platforms, that's all well and good. We definitely encourage it. But then the next step is going, you want to own that data. You want to collect a name, an email, a phone number, because if the game changes at any point in time, what it means for you is that you're at the mercy of what happens on that particular platform. And so some examples we can give you is that like we've, uh, over the years, you know, what, 12, 13 years ago, we started building a Facebook page. What have we got, 20... 22 odd thousand people on there or whatever then a number of years ago facebook decided to reduce the engagement it decided to monetize the platform and those of you who pay for ads and pay for views and all that sort of stuff there was a time when that wasn't around and so we used to put up a post and we get seen by lots and lots and lots of people organically now that that game has obviously changed if we have a look at things like facebook reviews we've got well over 600 people who have rated us five stars Mm -hmm. and given us a glowing review on the work we've done on the business coaching program and that was showcased and that was well displayed but then what happens is the platform changes the game changes and suddenly you any of you can go on there and, and, and search and you'll find our reviews and you'll see our, our rating on there. But if we were sitting there relying upon that and, and going, okay, these 22,000 people and all these 600 plus reviews, they're going to get seen by everybody. 
Uh, and we didn't get ahead of the game and go, all right, well, we need to start thinking like a, a business that's larger than the current business. We can't rely upon this platform. What we need to do is we need to take that next step. Mm. And so we need to acquire those de- those those people's details. That's why we've built a significant database. That's why we nurture that database. That's why we've had success. That's great. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that again, to me, falls into being you know being able to uh, adapt, change, grow, think differently, uh, and not get stuck in the weeds for what maybe was working. You know, I mean, again, when we started two thousand eight, Facebook literally just came on the scene, had none of the groups, none of the platforms, but you know, evolve. You know, see how to utilize that. But again, it all comes back to: Do you un- actually understand what you're trying to market, what you're trying to say, what you're trying to you know get across out there? And again, it comes back to you know again another skill set in the right structure in your business. The la- uh, and in my opinion, the last one is is then and probably the most important one is your mindset. So, are you open, receptive to learning? Yeah, you know, or do you go? I already know that. I already know this, so, and and that again, that will keep you stuck exactly where you are. So there's three main areas: the skill set, the structure, and your mindset. Always needs to develop and grow again, because I've never seen a business uh, continue to develop and grow if the business owner isn't um, acquiring those three things. So again, in the 13 years we've been around, uh, we're certainly not doing the same as what we did back then. We've evolved and grown each year. By design, though. So it's got to be by design and not by just hoping it works out to be better. So if you're sitting here watching it or listening to this and your business has hit that sticking point, uh, the, the smartest thing that I could suggest and recommend is you, that you do stop and look, go, how much of am I putting on external, like blaming this, blaming that? Mm. You know, people just don't have the money, they don't want to sign it. All those things will keep you trapped rather than, okay, what's my part to play in this? What, what's my actual honest belief about taking my business to where it is now, to where I want it to be? Uh, what is it about increasing my charge out rates? Uh, you know, am I actually saying that people just wouldn't pay that or is it the fact of it's a limiting belief within myself? Uh, have I actually spent valuable time each year developing my knowledge, my skill set, getting help, getting support? Mm. And that'll be your answer. So we do a thing called a business analysis. So before we work with any client, uh, we get them to complete that and mostly people it's a it's a really good checkup from the neck up to go wow okay i can see now just from doing that Mm. why my business hasn't grown why it hasn't continued to develop and the potential the exciting part is more so okay well imagine if i did get as you talked about some improvements in how to market do lead generation better regardless if you're doing that stuff or you're outsourcing it uh, I don't have any structure. I have no idea what my average dollar sale is. No wonder I'm just flying blind. If I could actually get some improvements in those areas, then the world will open up and, mm. and then I'll, I'll stop being in a stagnant um, position and I'll be able to grow and move forward. But it takes all of those things for that to occur. Mm. And, and 13 or so years ago when we were launching Trainer HQ and, <coughs> and coaching trainers, you might recall, big fellow, we put together the 100-point checklist and mm. it was like here's a here's a basic um requirement mm. of going setting up a business because you might be listening to all this and going okay this all sounds great but this could potentially be a bit overwhelming because i'm, I'm like there's all these mm. things i've got to do where do i start what do mm. i focus on first all the rest of it so if any of you are listening to this and, and start to feel that i look back to that that checklist that we created now that became the the starting point of us developing our business building website our business building platform now which houses all of our intellectual property, our documents, our templates, it evolved into our app, which is our Pathway to Profits, which has a step-by-step process. So what what I think about is going, what we need to do is, you know, like I said, for any of you who are a bit unsure, is to go back to the basics and going, okay, what are these things? If I look over the course of 12 months to go, if I was to make you know, three to five changes or three, you know, three to five systematic improvements in my business over the course of a 12 month period, Mm. then we go, all right, five times, you know, 12 months, what are we talking? 60 changes, 60 systems, 60 things that you could do between now and this time next year. And so that's the, when we take that long-term view, that long-term approach. And once again, if we're sitting there with a hope plan, fingers crossed, 
none of that stuff's going to happen. We've seen people that come through and move through that stuff rapidly and, you know, just absolutely smash systems and processes. We've seen others that can struggle with it and potentially take a little bit longer to get those things in place. But the most important part is that you are moving forward at a rate that matches up with your you know, where you want to head in business and more importantly, back to these, you know, financial goals and targets because if you're saying I want to go from 50 grand to 100 or from I'm saying I'm already doing that 120 and I want to get to 300 plus, <clears throat> that once again, that part's irrelevant. It's more important about mm. what's the process which is going to allow me to get there. Mm. So all that information, I heard there's a really simple principle like all, all of the information you want to collect from your business, again, Average dollar sale, you know, what your expenses, all, all that stuff, what's your profit at the end, uh, leads coming in, all the stuff we were referring to, having that information lets you know what you need to keep doing, so what's working really well. And then again, a lot of businesses, they'll stop doing the stuff that's been uh, getting them results because mm. they don't actually have a, a way to track, measure, or stop to reflect on all that stuff. Then you need to look at what's, what do you need to stop doing. And again, you go, look, I've just spent... 15 hours this week making a uh, post on social media that doesn't get me any type of return, mm. but I just I just get it, you know, I'm on Canva doing all these nice pretty designs. I don't really know why I'm doing it, mm. but I'm just doing it because I guess you've got to be on social media, but yeah. I don't understand my market, you know, their pain points, their frustrations, their desires, so I don't actually know, I'm not actually putting effective stuff out there. Mm. So I need to stop that because it's not actually getting me anywhere other than just you know costing me time uh and and then what do you need to uh you know when we do start doing stop doing and keep doing other big three things so mm. keep doing the things that you know are working and that's feed, fed back from the information that you're acquiring about the business stop doing the things you go that's just not a good use of my time and it's counterproductive and then what do you what do you need to um keep keep doing as well so start start doing stop doing and keep doing mm. but again you can you can only uh, get that information if you are knowing where to look and what to track it we were we were going through uh every year we have our entrepreneur of the year mm. and we get them to fill out uh a form that mm. application, application about mm. where where they were when they started with us and where they are now and again just to come full circle what we're talking about what I love to see is that there's people that within, uh, you know, less than a year have doubled their income. Why? Well, because now they know where to look. Mm. They know what they need to be focusing on. Yep. They've got a sense and direction and a purpose for their business. And it's not rocket science, but you've got to know, you know, you've got to know what to do, how to do, as you were saying, and where to look. And so that's mm. where we come in. We get them to write down when they, where they're at, what the current reality is for their business what they're not doing well, what they're not good at, what they've got some limitations around. And then we go to work to create a, a, a pathway to success for them to reach their goals because why? Well, they don't know what they don't know, as you said. They actually don't know what to focus on. They mm. don't don't actually understand the metrics of their business. They don't know what they should be working on each week, each month. And so, again, the trap with that is that you can be in a business and three years later just getting the same old results. For me, if you're going to be, if you're in business and you're listening to this or watching this, and you go, "Oh, look, I'm just fine potting along," well, you could probably just stop listening. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not the right because, people to listen to because, and I'm, I'm not. I'd be surprised why you'd, you'd be tuning in the first place. But if you go, you know what, I want to treat the time I'm in business like the share market. I want to get the greatest return for my efforts. Then this stuff's really important. Mm. It, you you want to maximize the time that you have in your business to get the greatest return, be it with your flexibility and freedom for your lifestyle, with the ability to help more people, but also to, to, to set up your financial future and the, and the profitability of it. So our big three things are to be always looking at ways that you can increase your profitability. Yeah. For some people it's that we've worked with, it's that they've had no structure in terms of their expenses and their expenses are killing them. And so if we can reduce their expenses by two or three grand a month, well, now that's money in their profit. But again, they had no idea because they're making decisions based off that sounds like a good idea mm. versus any real logical reason for why they're doing it. Yeah, based off fear or, or just based off no management or yeah. just no knowledge about what's going on. Get to the end of the month or the end of what, whatever time period and go, where'd that money go? I brought a bunch of money in, but it's all gone, you know? So yeah. I better go and buy the new, you know, body fat scanner for 20 grand because that's, my clients will love that. 
really. But at the same time, you don't understand how to acquire more leads, get more appointments set, mm. convert your sales conversions at 30%. You know, so that's, again, would be an example of that. Um, have more flexibility and freedom. Again, you can make the money, but you can also kill yourself in the process. Mm. So yep. I'm making good money, but I'm working six days a week doing 68 sessions. And if you like doing that, well, good on you. <laughs> good on you. But if there was a smarter, more effective way to do it, yep. then all good. And then to help more people, again, you don't want to be the best kept secret out there. If you've got a gift, you've got something you're really passionate about, but you're just having trouble how to uh, massage that message and, and speak to the right people, get in front of the right people, then again, it's, it's, it's just costing you that time. And time's the one thing you're never going to get back. Mm. Uh, money, yep, you can, you can you know, lose money, make more back, all that stuff. And I guarantee you when you do get the right formula and you do know what you're doing, mm. it, it turns up a lot more. Uh, it comes up easier, the money, and you can increase dramatically. Uh, but again, if just working hard is your only motto, mm. then that's what you'll end up having. You'll have a career in business or your business that you've just flogged yourself to death trying to earn a bit of income but then you have to look at the other areas of your life is that what you actually um, intended to yourself like mm. not taking holidays not having the ability to make money if you don't work all those questions need to be answered so i guess if you're liking the sound of this and, mm. you're, and you're sitting there and light bulbs are going off going yeah look i really don't have any sense of direction for my business other than just turning up doing the same old same old then this is a good uh a good opportunity to stop you know hit hit the uh, reset button but then ask yourself What's in my best interest to do right now mm. that could put me a further ahead in the next 12 months, two years, three years. But if you've been stuck for a bit and you just keep doing the same old, same old, well, we shouldn't expect to be any better off in, in you know, a year's time or whatever it may be. Yeah, and we're, we're shooting this, you know, November 2021. You know, people often say, when's the best time to do this? Well, now's the best time. When's the best time to plant a tree? Well, it was 20 years ago. It's it's back to this thing of going. If you haven't focused on any of these areas, when when do I make a start? And this, the the time to start is now. You draw a line in the sand. You go, yeah, it's time to actually make some change. And for those of you who like working on on significant dates, calendar years, all the rest of it, if you want to engineer twenty twenty two and and turn it into the type of year you want it to be, and in, in twelve months time you want to have all that, now's the time when you start to make that change. And the other thing I note is that you know for all of our clients, we look at you know the thirteen fourteen years now up to running this program. Of all the people, the 150 plus people joining the high level coaching programs every single year, there's that we, we we have people on these our business coaching programs who are now with us for five, six, seven years, mm. and it's back to that thing. Okay, if it's working, why would I stop? It's the same reason your personal training clients come to you; they're still getting results. That's why they're coming back after all these years. We still have clients who've been with us for quite some time who are kicking ass, who have got highly profitable businesses who still need to put new systems, mm. new processes in, more structure, different change. So once again, I want to speak to each and every one of you. If you feel like you, you, you see a, a success story or a testimonial, or you see something out there and you go, wow, that, that, that looks great, but that person must have it all. They've got it all sorted. Trust me when I say that there's a lot, a lot of people who still need to work on, on a, a, a number of systems and processes and so forth. So what happens in business it becomes this, it's an exciting, but it's also this continuous and never-ending improvement. Mm. And so for each and every one of you out there, it's it's that, that number one, there's the personal growth. So your level of, of business success, your level of wealth creation, whatever it might be, is is going to be tied into your level of personal growth. So the more that you can grow personally and ex open up your opportunities, the more chance you're going to have at success in any of those areas. And then ultimately, as you are in this, it's it's this exciting journey of, of the new things that you'll be putting into the business to help it succeed and change. And like I said before, if I make the reference to Facebook, going that there's changes that have happened across the years and there's, there's still going to be more that will continue to happen. How do, how do I or you as a business owner or anyone change, grow, modify to suit what's happening in the marketplace at the time? And you can compare it to, uh, like I, I make, and I think we make the correlation between, say, getting in shape uh, and business. So you got, clients that have come to you because they don't have the right skill set they don't have the right knowledge they don't have the right structure or p potentially the right support in place but why can you help that same person 
get the results in a, in a quicker, shorter, more effective time because you've done the learning, you've done the education, mm. you've done the years of experience, you've seen the same type of person coming with the same type of desires but also maybe the their sticking points with their health and fitness journey and then you can help them because of all that experience. So one of my favourite uh, sayings is first learn, then remove the L. And in fitness, it's they're coming to you because they want to learn how to maximise their time in their life but in their training so they can get the results mm. because, yeah, I mean, I could have no idea about fitness and getting in shape, go, I think I'll just join the gym or start running every day because I want to lose weight. But is that the most effective way to do it? Is it the most effective way for me to do it? I, maybe not. Do I know what to eat, how to eat, when to eat? You know, prior to training, after training, for recovery, for rest. Uh, or I could just join the gym and just hope for the best, just turn up, do whatever I feel like doing on the day, get on the treadmill, run for this, run for that, uh, and wonder why I don't see the results. And that can be the same thing in business, right? Again, I haven't learned anything different. Mm -hmm. I don't understand anything more about the business that would help me go to that next level. Again, a person might get some results – uh, who are just winging it in the gym, have no idea what they're doing. Sure, they might lose some weight, but they don't know why they, why it worked, how it worked. And when it doesn't work, then I guess they just start to lose a bit of hope. And uh, most people would use that as, they'd say, that then they lose the desire to keep training because there's no results coming in. So why would I keep persisting with it? And that's what I see in business, unfortunately. Uh, and it can all turn around really quickly if you just get some understanding and learning and, and spend some time and energy in that area about going, how do I maximise uh, my business and how do I keep growing and get a better better result each each year that I'm in business itself? Yeah, hundred percent. And the, also an action step. So once again, if you're sitting here listening to this and going, "All right, where where do I start? What do I do?" And this is definitely a, a shameless plug for our brand new app that's just come out. Just one easy place for you to start is our Pathway to Profits app is now live on both the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. You can subscribe to that for only $10 a month. And inside that, we've got 30 modules, which run through all of our main teaching areas and the structure on how to build a successful business. And why have we done that? Why have we put it like that on the App Store? Well, we just want to make it as available as possible. 10 bucks a month. Ten bucks a month. Yep, that's fucking ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but back to it. Like the the question is, okay, well, why shoot these podcasts? Why do all this stuff? Well, what we want to do is we want to share this information because we know that when you take these steps and when you make these five percent changes, when you put these stuff in place serious stuff happens in both your business and your personal life and that's why we make that invitation to you so my recommendation step number one if you haven't experienced any of that jump on and get yet get involved in that and you know 27 years of, of being in the industry but for a, a large portion of that also coaching and mentoring helping others we've ha we've had to be doing it for that long to learn all the mistakes make all the errors also but also get all the feedback about what does work so mm. when you hear us talk about 27 years it's been a, a process of learning making mistakes messing it up you know thousands of times to learn what does and now having our clients that have come through and we're also getting that feedback about this works what doesn't work mm. It's the quickest way then to like, you know, someone someone getting into that pathway to profits now, they're coming into it at the peak of the time because it we're at the pinnacle of what we've been able to learn over all these years. And why would you want to go and try to fumble your way through it? Yeah. Uh, you know, for for you to be able to have an access and platform. We're in a day and age where getting information's easier than ever. No having to go and order manuals and DVDs and CDs what we started with. It's <laughs> like um, some of your, some of our viewers might not even know what a CD is because of the age bracket you're in. But there's been no better time to, to access really good quality information. And from us, we're really proud of it because, well, it's a shameless plug. It's, we're really proud of it. And our mission's always been to get the information into as many people who can worldwide who are just struggling with their business and yeah. make it as simple and easy and effective and getting straight to what you need to know, cutting out all the fluff and all the bullshit, just going, this is how you can overcome objections in the sales process rather than just going, shit, I, again, you know, didn't know how to handle that. Well, there are solutions for you and, and you'll find that mm. in, in the Pathway to Profits program and just run you through how to grow and build your business. But again, 
the 10 bucks a month is just it's just a no-brainer but what what i want people to understand is that this is coming off the back of 27 years yep of experience you know like handed it's no different than martial arts you know you go and learn if you want to go and learn from someone who's been doing it for a long long time who's a master as they call it uh because you don't want to have to try to fumble your way and figure it all out no, who'd want to do that? And uh, back to the access to information. Yeah, we live in an era where access to to all this information, there are just huge amounts of stuff out there. Go to YouTube, Google, whatever you're going to do, you, you'll you'll find stuff. Now that is great, but it's also <laughs> an incredibly challenging thing for any business owner because how do you know what's the what's the best stuff for you? How do you know what's what's right? How do you know what's going to work? How do you know what's proven? And so th- that can lead to confusion because, yeah, you can fumble your way through and you can go watching clip after clip and all the rest of it. But ultimately what we've done is we've condensed this and we go, look, don't worry about trying to consume all this time, energy and effort. Just watch what the proven system that works. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't agree uh, more. And if you are looking... To follow somebody, just do a bit of due diligence as well. Just make sure it's not being regurgitated straight out of some other, you know, guru's book, uh, and then they're just spitting it out. Go and do a bit of research. What is what is this person? Where where is their background? Where do they come from? How long have they been doing this for? Mm. I mean, we talk about it now because it's it's important. You know, like there's there's no replacing experience. There's, there's no replacing time in the game doesn't matter if it's as a trainer you've got a trainer who's the, their first year yep could they deliver a great job and the knowledge they have absolutely mm. they certainly can uh, and they'll be able to help a certain type of person but if that trainer still develops themselves get better educated mm. they don't just switch off and go well okay i've done my cert three and four i'm not going to spend any more time energy and effort developing my skill set well that's where they're going to be still in 10 years time so you want to make sure that you do, do a bit of work and uh, it, we, you say, used to say at our seminars, go, like, don't, don't actually just believe everything we say, you know, like do your own research as mm. well, look mm. into it. Uh, does it feel right? Does it connect with me? The values match up. Yeah. But more importantly, who am I taking advice from? Who am I, am, who am I am tuning into? Because otherwise, you know, you might be mis- misled with the information you're getting as well. So that's, I guess, us as consumers or people who are out there looking for information just again make sure you do your homework uh you know in terms of who you're taking the uh, content from yeah absolutely absolutely all right well some some pretty uh, basically what i'm saying is we're fucking amazing <laughs> well we're, we're, obviously we're just ask us yeah basically look, let's just cut the shit you, you don't need to find anybody else to listen to. <laughs> we're, we're. <laughs> it's um it, you know that this part is you know of, of paramount importance and we you know we keep going back to it why is it so important well ultimately this defines your future and on any level so you know we still do meet people that are in the fitness industry who are not even sure if they can turn it into a full-time career not even sure if they can turn it into a future we, we've shown the people that have the ability to do that and it, so the opportunity there it, it's it's there for you so if you want to engineer the type of future you want this industry is amazing and it's it's there is just so much opportunity and so much untapped opportunity from this moment moving forward as well so and that's why this part's so critical you got to put yourself in the best position to win yeah so you, you got to surround yourself the right people uh you know p- Put the energy into educating, learning, but we that's what we say. Put yourself in the best position to win mm. and get the greatest results for all your time, energy and effort. And if you are going to be in business, you you owe it to yourself to to do that. Otherwise, again, you're just going to end up with hopefully whatever comes your way and uh, we're certainly not a fan of the hope plan. Absolutely not. No. So a few action steps you can take from here. Obviously, jump on. We'll put the links in below wherever you're listening to this, Spotify, YouTube, whatever. We'll put in the link in for the Apple Store, the Google Play Store. Look, do yourself a favor for 10 bucks a month. Get started on that uh, ASAP. And then that'll get you around us. It'll get you more around our concepts, our methodologies and so forth. And more importantly, it'll assist you to get the wins that you need to take that next step. Uh, also, make sure that you do 
action things. Make sure you do have an action plan on what I need to do next, okay? What is the next month going to look like? How am I going to lead into the end of this calendar year? How am I going to prepare myself for, for next year? So that in 12 months' time, I can look back and go, wow, I have put these new systems, these new processes in place, which means that I can fulfill the type of business I want, which gives me the lifestyle that I'm after. Yeah, or I did training in sales, and as a result, I can see my sales uh, conversion rates going through the roof. I've put a customer care system in, so my count, my uh, retention rate's gone up. How do I know it? Well, because now I'm actually tracking some basic but important stats. Um, I get more inquiries now. Well, why? Because I've actually understood my business, mm. who, my branding, my messaging, and who I'm actually wanting to target. And as a result of that, I've, I'm doing the right things on the right platforms, and as a result, that's improved. Uh, not only has it improved with getting more leads, inquiries, but... They're better qualified, but you you need to be able to assess, as you're saying, anything that you're going to spend time and energy, you've got to be able to track it. How's that had an impact? Because then that comes back to, well, let's keep doing that. <laughs> Hence why you say we've got clients four or five years because it's working, but there's always a next level that you're going to need to develop and acquire. So you keep you keep doing the things that are working. Mm. Don't stop doing the things that got you some success. Keep doing those things, but definitely uh, be mindful of stopping the things that aren't, aren't really moving you forward. Mm. Love it, love it. Mate, great wrap-up, and um, it's always a, a pleasure um, having you join me on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> even though we, it's always like us together, but, it's, um, mate, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. So, mate, we're going to sign off. It's Brad Shepard and Jason Yubanowicz from Trainer HQ, and if you're listening to the Spotify version of this, you're not going to see this because we're punching out front double biceps. Yeah, buddy. Woo! So yeah, that, the light is definitely washing me out. I'm, I'm normally much browner than this. I'm going to get a spray tan next time before we do this, brother man. <laughs> uh, Bye-bye. Ciao.